I'm going to show you a lovely recipe for pork burgers with some red onion relish. So we'll talk about the mince that we're using some Irish pork mince. And when you're getting your lovely pork mince, make sure you have the board be a quality mark. So we know it's from Irish farmers and it's absolutely delicious. And for me, pork mince is good value, very versatile. You can make meatballs, burgers as I'm going to do. You can make a ragu. It is absolutely delicious. So we're going to just kind of jazz them up with some marinated onions, some beautiful cashew, cashew blue uh, cheese, which is delicious. So I'm just going to heat my uh, griddle pan and we're going to show you how to make the burgers. And you can make batches of these and you can freeze them or you can keep them in the fridge if you want to. So I'll just turn down the pan. So this is one packet of the mince. That's what we have there. We're going to crack in one uh, egg. So I'm just using a quality assured egg. Some breadcrumbs, just some fresh breadcrumbs. I'm using some Giabatta breadcrumbs, but you could use if you wanted to some uh, gluten free. And then this will give lovely flavor. So it's a caramelized red onion relish, and this is really delicious. And that's the beautiful thing about pork mince. It can take on so many different flavors. So a good generous spoonful of that. And then we need to season it up and you need to get your hands in there to shape it and to mix it so we'll put a little bit of black pepper first of all and then lots of some lovely sea salt so a good sprinkle of sea salt in there now we're going to mix this all together so just get your hands you can wear gloves if you want to and just literally mix that all together so you're combining everything lovely now so just kind of mush it all up the egg is going to hold it all together and if you think it's too wet or you need more breadcrumbs you can just add some more in there you'll find the longer if you make these ahead they'll kind of firm up a little bit now so Mel if you just go in there and just have a little look at that and I'll just get a few little more breadcrumbs which are in here so just a small amount of breadcrumbs we're going to add in there I don't want it too wet either at the same time and I don't want it too dry. So just add in that there and then mix that all through. Yeah, that feels better. So kind of just kind of mush it all up. And you can, you can wear gloves for this. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to shape these into nice burgers. Okay, we're going to serve one of them. And you can see the little speckles of onion. You can put in different spices like curry powder, some harissa powder, even some red uh, curry paste would be really delicious. So that's our mixture. You can see the way now the kind of breadcrumbs have soaked up the kind of moisture from the pork and also the egg. So that's what we're looking at there, if you can see that there. Lovely. You could put in some herbs, like you could put in a little bit of basil. You could put in um, some chopped parsley. Even some sage is good. So we'll shape them into a kind of a large, kind of like a, a snowball. So we will, and then kind of press them out. Okay, so that's it there. It's as easy as that. You see the little speckles of red onion. We're going to put that onto our preheated pan. You want to hear that, just gently press that and we may as well shape a couple more. I'm only going to cook one, but I'll just show you. So out of that pack, we'll probably get four, four to five burgers and that really depends on the size. And then I'll just show you just if you're doing some meatballs, you'd shape them a wee bit smaller and you kind of curve your hands like this and then you could have them like that. And that's lovely, just pan fried with a nice tomato sauce, a little bit of um, pasta, it really is delicious. Or you can do little kind of um, sliders, you know the tiny little burgers, the twins love that, so they do. So I'll just go back here and I'll just finish this. So we're gonna have four, four nice decent burgers out of that. And again, you can cover these and they'll keep in the fridge for about three or four days. You can also freeze it. If you're gonna freeze it, what I would do is put a little bit of parchment paper onto a tray and then all you do is um, label them, date them and into the freezer. That's her. That's that's one packet that I used. I'll move that out of the way. And most important, after you do that, you have to wash your hands. So just put that into the sink. So we'll turn up the heat there. Get that going. And give your hands a really good washing. Now, well, I'm going to put a tiny little bit of oil just onto the pan, and I'm going to use some nice rapeseed oil. So use some of this. Now you'll hear it sizzling. So you've it already seasoned. It won't take long to cook. And we're going to finish this under the grill. So we need to make sure that it's cooked through. Really, really important. And you'll see the way it can kind of caramelise. So it will because of the red onion relish, because there is sugar in that. So just while that's on cooking, just have that there beside us. We're going to just make up a very simple pesto mayonnaise, marinade some tomatoes. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. We're going to uh, put some um, red onion, grill red onion. So you have red onion relish. And then I'm going to put a couple of slices of this. So I'll just get this onto the griddle pan. 
just the side. You can see I like red onion. So I'll put a couple of them on there. Lovely. Okay, so this couldn't be easier. Uh, some full fat mayonnaise. We are gonna put in a couple of spoonfuls of pesto. And this will work really well. You could use some uh, sweet chili sauce or sriracha sauce, which is really, really nice and a little bit of a kick. So what I'm trying to show you is just how versatile uh, the pork is. It can take on lots of different spices and flavors. So just give that a little mix through and this can be done ahead. And that's it there. That's it done. You have a nice little bit of a mix. So you have that lovely flavor from basil. So we're just gonna flip over the burger. Lovely. And then just turn that down. You see the way it's nicely caramelizing, which is perfect. So I've turned down the heat, okay? We don't want it to get any more browner than that. And I put a little bit of oil onto that, and then what we'll do is we'll just flip over these onions, these tiny little onions. Now, because I sliced them nice and thin, you could, if you wanted to, put a little bit of balsamic vinegar onto them. So that's good there. That's good to go. We have our little mayonnaise. Now we're going to do our lovely little mar marinated tomatoes. So I'm going to jazz these up with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And these are, sorry, little cherry tomatoes, which are lovely and sweet and gorgeous. We're going to put some lemon zest into this. So it's a lovely little recipe that you can make ahead. So it works really well with the sweetness and the softness of the pork. And that's one thing about pork mince. It is a lovely soft uh, mince and a great one if you're making kind of like a ragu. You know, like for like a, a pork bolognese, something like that. It really is delicious. So a little bit of lemon zest in there. We're going to put some salt and we're going to put some extra virgin olive oil in this. Now, lovely, good drizzle of that. And then a good pinch of salt and then some black pepper. So it's just a very, very simple little recipe here. If you make it overnight, it's even nicer. And uh, I think with some fresh basil, it works particularly well. So I'm just going to get the basil and we're going to chop this really, really fine. Watch the fingers. So this can be all made ahead. Your lovely little um, pesto mayonnaise, your tomatoes now, just get a spoon to mix that. And that's it. So they're, they're, they're kind of two very quick, simple little elements for the lovely little, or for the burger, should I say. Okay, move that out of the way. So let's have a look at our burger. How is it cooked? Turn it over. Lovely, and flip over your little thing. So this needs to be cooked now for just a little while more and then finished. So just turn up the heat there. So just press it down. You'll see like the most important thing is that it's cooked through because it really depends on the, the thickness of the burger. So this is gonna take about another two to three more minutes because I'm gonna finish it under the grill with some blue cheese. So just flip that over there. It's so, so good. The pork mince is very, very soft. It's um, really delicious and you can take on lots of lovely flavors. You could put in lots of spices, which I told you already, or a little bit of curry powder would work really, really well in this. Uh, I'm going to um, toast some brioche buns in a moment. You could use some water for blah, which is really, really good. And then the blue cheese that we're gonna use is the cashew blue cheese. So this is made in Cant Tipperary. It's an iconic blue cheese sold all over the world and it works really well with pork. So the blue cheese, we'll just place it on top and we'll just literally finish this uh, under the grill and it'll give a lovely kind of a, a flavor coming through onto the pork, that blue cheese, because it's kind of sweet, but it's salty at the same time and it works really well. So all I've done is I've just cut two little slices of the blue cheese. And what we'll do is we'll just literally place it on top and we're gonna literally place this uh, under the grill. So it's still a little bit soft here, if you can see that there you press into the center. So that means it's still not cooked through. Really, really important that you do cook it fully through. So that's really important. I think the salad to serve with this is just a little bit of cause. So just literally wash that. There's a nice bit of a crunch. You could use some wild rocket, you know, but I think with the blue cheese, you have lots of interesting flavors. So just to recap what I've done, just while I'm waiting on the pork, the tomatoes, we put in some um, lemon zest, which works really well, balsamic vinegar, some oil and some fresh basil and salt. And that can be done two or three days ahead. If you can, always serve it at room temperature. That's really important. And them are beautiful. Pesto mayonnaise, so some mayonnaise and some good fresh basil pesto. That's a little gem of a thing. And that would be lovely uh, just with the burger on, on, on its own and the baps without even the, the tomatoes. So let's just flip this over. Beautiful. One more time. And then on goes our blue cheese. So I think the easiest way to do this is just to lift it off the pan. And then we're just gonna put on our blue cheese. And then we're gonna flash it underneath the grill. 
So while that's under the grill, we can just toast our lovely burger baps. So these can be kind of sealed off and finished off in the oven. They can be cooked in the barbecue. I think the griddle pan is the best. So we're just gonna let that just cook there. And then our lovely brioche bun. So brioche, as you know, is a kind of like a nice sweet, kind of like, um, kind of a bun, so it is. And the brioche buns are really nice. You could use the Waterford Blas, you could use, you know, just a regular burger bun with some sesame seeds. So it's totally up to you. So I'm actually just gonna warm these through onto the pan that we've actually cooked the uh, pork burgers on. So I can just switch that off there. There's no need to, you can toast them, but I think you're getting the flavor. It's gonna mop all those lovely juices that come out from the pork. So while the pork is underneath, we can just start to just get a nice little presentation plate. So I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on the side of the dish here. And then I'm gonna smear one of the burger buns with that. Then our lovely tomatoes, which we've marinated. It's always nicer if you can leave these, you know, for a couple of hours to marinate. So I'm just gonna serve them on the side. Now you could use, do this with a big tomato, I should have said that. So some lovely vine tomatoes. Try and get the lovely vine tomatoes, which are absolutely gorgeous. So let's have a little look at our burger buns. So they're just warming through. That's the first one there. Gorgeous. I'm gonna just change. That's lovely, it's kind of melting down. I'll bring it over to you now in a minute and show it to you, Melda. So what we'll do now is just start just to get our lovely pesto mayonnaise. So smear this all over. Okay, and then we have our lovely salad. So one or two little pieces, whatever you want. I like lots of that nice salad. And it's the cause salad, the baby jam it's called, which is really delicious. So just literally warm through the top and then for our lovely little red onions, which are just sliced. So you have to like red onions. You can do this with regular onions, of course, but I think with red onions, they're nice and sweet and absolutely delicious. So the whole combination, that lovely soft, uh, kind of like really, really moist Irish pork mince, that lovely kind of salty blue cheese and those sweet red onions and the pesto mayonnaise is a great comment. Look at this. This is great. Super. Now, so you can see the way the cheese is melted. That's perfect. You could get a little bit of color, but I'm happy with that, okay? So now we're gonna serve this and just li literally place it on top of your burger bap and the red onion and then this here so there's a good there's a good mouthful in this so there is I always like to use one of these little kind of bamboo skewers that kind of hold it all together for presentation and there we have it so it really depends on the thickness that you make the burgers in make sure they're cooked through that's really really important once they're firm to the touch that they're cooked through they can be made ahead but for me the most important message and thing is getting this and using this beautiful Irish pork mince and you're looking for that board be a quality mark just there you can see it there so you can. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this really delicious burger. Remember, they can be made ahead. You don't have to serve them a blue cheese. You could use a cheddar cheese. You could just keep them plain. And I think with the tomatoes and the little mayonnaise, you have a beautiful, beautiful, delicious meal that all the family will enjoy. So happy cooking.